excuse our mess we're uh, doing trying to get everything back in containers before winter but i think we're running a little behind so we're starting to just uh, hastily put things back so i'll have to wait till next spring to get everything done but nonetheless jeremy here jeeps unlimited 303-666-9020 partsbreakers.com our website's changing we're going to have a completely updated site again we do this about every couple years i used to think one and done but unfortunately when it comes to uh, sites that's just not the case technology changes too quickly apologize the wind i might be able to control that um so we're going after we're looking at i should say uh, a couple things mainly hard top on an lg i'll show you that here in a second so you can see that as if you were here in person just like anything when it comes to our big items um where we really excel is i feel like the video side of things just so you know exactly what you're getting no surprises if anything uh under promise over deliver and uh, that's always worked really well for us so um but the other thing was for windshield frames so majority of this will be windshield frames because there's a lot more of them than hard tops um i don't have the color you're looking for so uh for anybody else out there we always do our videos with usually somebody in mind so if that doesn't make any sense to you and you're not sure when i'm addressing someone just that's why uh, but these these obviously work for a lot of other people as well and it's easy just to kind of swing through all of what we're looking at and cover anybody out there that might be looking for a windshield frame regardless of the model or the color or the year range or yada 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 so okay um so we're gonna have tj windshield frames kind of throughout the yard right now like i said we're doing a big cleanup so we have a blue one here we have a white one and just keep in mind that yes these do interchange um, from 97 to 06 they will bolt on and they'll look the exact same except for one major difference and it's actually not on the outside it's on the inside of the jeep um, and those are we call it like the blown plastic um, molding that's on the inside of the the, wind, the windshield glass you'll see these on the later 03 to 06 they have kind of a, a big plastic things and it just kind of closes up um, the look they kind of got a little bit I think they got a little slicker with those. I've seen people adapt and put those in the early ones. Uh, you have to drill some holes to do that. But the other difference, if you do that, um, you'd have to modify how the uh, visor works because the visors are different from 03 to 06 versus the 9702. So um, they're pretty easy to tell the difference. And I'm not showing these entirely as they are, um, other than that, they, if they get put on a shelf, they're been checked for rust but the easiest way when i'm looking at them to tell them apart is usually just this mount here it looks just a little different than the th than the, um there's a there's almost three holes on the later one so so this tells us they're early um and there's a blue one a white one uh this one's a jk silver i thought we were almost looking out there because that's a really nice one um so those are going to be 2007 to 2018 uh, we have a red LJ, it looks like here, and that one is early 9703. Okay, and then going across here, lots of 9702s right now. Um, we have a black one, a green that I think was originally black, like a army green almost. <coughs> Another black one, that one's a little bit more faded, and again, early, uh, and uh, kind of a greenish blue color there um, for another early 9702 and then we're gonna have a lot of YJs most of these are all YJs easy way to tell a YJ from a CJ because they're gonna look similar is the extension bars the CJs didn't use extension bars so if you got an original YJ windshield frame um, you're gonna have those if you had an original CJ you will not have these are in the top right and left corners and they're the roll bar extensions and just for safety they did them in the later years okay so that's how we tell them apart now again they're kind of like the tj they will work on cj7 cj5s but that's how i tell them apart when i'm working on them and if you don't care that there's holes there you can use a yj1 on your cj um, they'll bolt on and work just the same so and they'll look just the same they use the there is a difference let me go back here before i misstep here they're, the difference on a YJ and a CJ functionality is going to be the way that the defrost works. This is definitely going to be an important thing. If you're not running your Jeep in, this, in the winter or in 
you know, humidity areas where the uh, temperature changes drastically, then it won't be a concern to you. But definitely something to note if you are running it in the cold, the winter, or where you get dim temperature changes, especially uh, with humidity. So, um, and that's because the YJ windshield frame, the defrost comes up through the dash. Kind of appears it's coming through the windshield frame, but it does not. It actually comes through the dash, the dash pad in the area. The CJ dash pad and the YJ look similar, but they are different. Now the CJ7, CJ5, CJ8 windshield frame, that's a scrambler, they vent up through the windshield frame themselves and they have little slots here. So if you ever got something that was made for both and you know, you swear it's a CJ7, but, and I've seen those, they're aftermarket usually, the, what you're gonna find on those is they'll have holes up here and they'll have vents up here. And again, obviously, if you have a CJ, those won't matter, but your vents are there. If you have a YJ, you'll have extra vents in there that you really can't see those because they get kind of hidden behind the pad. So keep that in mind, all right? And again, these have been, all of these, or should have been anyway, glass has been removed. And the reason that is, folks, and if we sell you one and ship you one, the glass will be removed unless you happen to be local and want to come in and pick one up. There's a couple reasons behind that, but the main reason is, is because glass is where the, the rust hides. So like these guys have glass still in them, and we hope that we're going to get in here and not see this extended, leached into the bottom, but I expect, or suspect, um, that when we pull this, we're going to find. Now, how bad that is determines if that stays around or goes away, and meaning goes away, goes into scrap bin. So if we don't have time to do it, we'll throw them on the shelf. But typically the guys know when they pull these, they do need to pull the glass from them. If they're really good glass, we'll try to save the glass pieces. Although it's hard to pull glass without breaking it. So it doesn't always happen that way. We can order glass fairly inexpensive and drop ship to you. So there's always that too. And then the second reason is, is because if we ship these to you, A, it's probably going to get broke if we ship it with glass. And B, it's very heavy when for some reason that one piece of glass adds a lot of weight and it gets very expensive to ship versus these when they're just shells they're super light so that's the way we're going to ship them to you and people always oh can you just take a chance it's like sure we can take a chance but glass isn't covered by insurance unless it's shipped from ppr which is who we use um and it costs it's going to cost you twice as much if it arrives damaged well you're sol so i always insist on people letting us do what we know best which is pull them and again the main reason is because there's rust in these windshield frames sometimes you can't see it this one probably shouldn't have even got on the shelf my guess is it's here because there's still some although these aren't in great shape but there's some stuff some stuff sitting on this there's holes rolled on the side so anything like this usually ends up in the scrap bin or we had an employee that just didn't know this is beyond what we would save but um but you see there again uh there's there and i bet you if we looked on the other side of that uh, there's probably on the other side as well so you can clean up rust to an extent but if it gets too bad what's going to happen you're going to waste yourself some time and some possibly money and possibly if you have somebody installing glass upset them because they're going to tell you okay i'll put the glass in but i ain't warranting it and the main reason is because they can't seal it properly so all that's to be considered when you're dealing with windshield frames, okay? And I was going to check on a uh, not only for this customer and TJ, but also CJ, and I don't have any CJs here. So there is an older one here. This is probably a 50s, uh, but actually in really good shape considering the year. It's got a little bit of oxidation, but it doesn't look like any rot there. The glass has been pulled already. So, and this one's very unique to this standoff. I mean, it's just old. There's that guy. Uh, let's just make sure. Sometimes they get put in weird places, so I'm just kind of going to do a quick scan here. <laughs> make sure I know there's a couple more out here, and then we're going to walk over to this hard top uh, as well. And actually, I might do a TJ top while I'm down here because I had a call for that. Sometimes it's easiest uh, for me just to go ahead and list, every, you know, list kind of a video of like 15, 20 minutes, and I'll send it to you and say, hey, you can skip you know skip around in this um to see what you're looking for uh it's just time is limited out here we're uh, uh this is our our technical season but this is still is on you know um definitely not full ramping up like we do in january um about middle of december so you see this one even has rust we've 
area. So there's some wiper linkage on that still um, that we'll get off and then that will probably be scrapped. Unless somebody happens to say, I'm just using it for wheeling and I just need something, you know. And then in that case, that might work still for somebody. Um, here's a CJ1 that was rotted, I can tell just by the bottom lip there. Again, the glass is pulled. This may be still usable. CJs are very hard to get. Uh, some texture up here, not bad shape. Except it's got some weird goofy. It's there. I think we had this one sold, but I ended up finding a better one. So, but this one, the bottom lip is another area they like to rust out on. And there's a see here. There's certain see kind of sharp edges there. Of course, here. So, this one's still doable. It would be a low grade. I wouldn't want to ship that one, but I would. And again, look, there's no, those big holes are gone now. This is definitely CJ. Um, CJs are hard windshield frames to find, so that one might still be of interest to someone. And I have a customer that's looking for one, and that, especially with them being a body shop. Now, their main concern, I guarantee, is going to be one is going to be this lip, which just looks super clean. And then the other area that everybody's going to want to know, when I kind of alluded to it, but didn't show it very clearly, is going to be. This lower lip, what does the face look like? And by and large, that lower lip actually looks pretty good. It's got a little bit of deterioration here, and it's that's when it, you start feeling it kind of get sharp right about there. So about a foot, the last bit on that passenger side, and I think that happens to be at that side that's got that other rest. And of course, they're always gonna want to know this, and this has got some dirt on it. It needs to be washed better to get you a better That all looks good and that looks solid down through there. So we'll probably, and of course, I'm not gonna even go over hoods, but we got a ton of hoods right now. <coughs> and hoods are kind of hard too, they get dinged up um, pretty easily. So, especially in our our area. So another CJ1, this is a, a little unique to this windshield frame. The motor, the windshield motor is on the outside of the frame. So we're talking earlies again, uh, likely a 60s model frame there, but Pretty good shape, actually. Uh, for an original frame, that's in really good shape. Uh, that one won't last. But see, the thing is, it's like I tell all my guys when they're, when they're slacking around, is none of this stuff will ever sell if nobody, you know, across the country doesn't know we have it. They're not that hard to ship. This one's in good shape, too. It's another YJ one. Uh, looks like that one should be a nice, solid one for somebody. And then, of course, that's another CJ down there, kind of like that guy there. So I'm gonna set these down just so they don't get banged around the wind. But uh, if they don't get listed, they don't sell. And that's really the biggest thing we have going up against us every year when we start playing catch up this time of year. We slow down, we try to do all that stuff and it just adds up. So we do have some fenders right now. Um, there's probably a couple good grade uh, A TJ fenders in the mix, I see a blue one there. Um, and for some reason, always, it's always been this way. You know, this wind is going to drive me nuts. It's probably going to drive you nuts listening to it. Let's see if I can muffle it a little bit for my shirt or something. Um, but we always seem to find a ton of passengers that we pull, and the drivers are bad, or a ton of drivers. Sometimes we get really nice sets both, but it just always seems like we have one heavy on one side lots of grills a lot of yj's a couple cj's a couple tj's left some of these are really nice there's a silver one there not that you need a grill but <coughs> and then some damaged ones those ones usually sit out here until we have time to pull all the stuff off this one's damaged Just, we still got lights and buckets and some good things on those so we'll keep those around until those um until those move and of course lots of fenders through here and I'm, I'm positive I could probably put together a set of fenders for probably just about every make right now, minus the early fives, which I know I'm out of. And then these are really what I gotta get out of the way. I just emptied our transmission bin, or the Connex the whole thing, to try to do an inventory. Because when it's in that tight of a space, especially with the lighting issue in there, we just, um, you almost have to pull it out. So um, here's a couple other ones. And unfortunately, Fortunately and unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, we do have some silvers, but all of them are 9702. So I got one here, um, one there, and I seen, I thought one more, I said uh, somewhere right there. Um, and then a blue one, 9702. That's a yellow, that's the only 03 to 06 I have. See how it has the three holes up there? 
that's how that's kind of a dead giveaway for that <coughs> later one um and then early blue another early blue lighter blue and i'll take a quick walk in the yard just to make sure but i think that's probably where we're going to be at for those other ones that need to get pulled and there's probably not too many of those out here maybe a couple of them. now let's go over and i'll just if i see a windshield frame i'll come back to it but for now we're going to jump into this hard top so we're at about 15 and a half maybe 16 by the time i get over here minutes on this hard top so i'll just make note of that and make sure that way i don't waste all your time i know sometimes it's, uh, i call these my boring videos so you know it's one thing to put them on in the background if you're listening to it this is the lj hardtop video if it's on in the background now you can come pay attention so and i'm still kind of holding this in my shirt a little bit so i can muffle the wind somewhat hopefully all right so this is in excellent shape um there's always that you know thought is it cracked is it chipped is it you know is there paint issues and no, no, there's there's a issue calling a paint actual crack there matter of fact this top is in really good shape that's just kind of paint flaked off there a little paint flaked off there uh, that's all good and then I always look at the edges on these you can always tell if a Jeep hard top has been off and on a lot because they like to chip right here people don't put them on they need to be kind of stored with with a you know kind of like they are in a belt rail in these Jeeps and they kind of need to be put on a piece of wood so the weight is carried on the inside this there's a little step in there otherwise if you have all the weight on the end it's fine but you'll get chips on these real easy so um i think that might just be a little paint yeah, there's a little bit of a lip there about the size of a dime i don't know if you can see that so got chrome hinges if you don't like those i can swap you out i have a set of black ones um, the glass is good this little hairline cracks you see on the lower glass bar it's going to be pretty common especially with our dryness in our state uh, but even in not and just use they just get a little banged up but they're still good seals you can see the seal matter of fact this one actually has good gas strips a lot of times we pull these in the back so those are good um the cover for this is right there, so I have that. And uh, we'll get that closed again. Actually, you know what? let's open it back up just so you can see. It's easier to see it from this side. Okay, so there's your step there, all the way across, back through here. All right, and then the step there again. So all super clean, and then of course your, your tie-ins there. And uh, we send you the hardware. All right, so that corner, excellent shape. A little bit of a scratch there and a couple little paint chips there. <coughs> Again, nice clean edges on it. And this side doesn't have anything like that other one did where it was kind of, paint was kind of chalking out there. sun right in our way there okay a little dirty but nothing nothing concerning on that that's all just needs to be wiped down a little dusty okay so that's the top for you at least the that lj top um and i have one more up at the house i just got in i'll show you that as well uh so this video is gonna be a little longer than i was planning so now we're going on this is not an lj top this would not work on an lj this is a tj top this is a unique tj top and i think i already got a video it's not going to go over too much this is factory white there's a little difference here they're got a nice smooth sheen on them they never made these tops but for one year one year only this is very rare actually and there's a couple reasons one one it's white i mean that's i think in 20 years i've only seen one other one and then it, and the other thing is is um, it's got like a, a, a gloss finish to it, so it's like like a paint job is on the bottom. Versus those have somewhat of a texture to them. The black does. You could easily paint that white or any other color, and I've seen those done before. But you'd have to do that, 
and you could even get it smooth but you'd have to get somebody to sand it down and do that because this has got a real nice sheen to it this is an excellent shape like i said this this is a now this is an 0306 blue again not a, not the right color for us but would be the right era and this one's excellent inside just as much as the other one all right so and then let's see the easiest way to do this is probably grab my scooter let me go <coughs> just making sure i don't have any other tjs down here with you know, windshield frames these are all So this door, I can see it right here. It's just, you can even see the paint chipping off the door itself. It needs to be adjusted. My doors, oftentimes people don't realize they have to be adjusted. You gotta pull these screws, not pull them, but get them loose and set them. If not, you'll drag. And that's what this one's done a little bit. So luckily it hasn't done any, any like damage-wise, just chipping. But um, TJ's here, none. These are all YJ's. Probably purple YJ there. That one should be a clean YJ one now. <coughs> Trying to put a roof on earlier. Because of my roof, it's a really bad winds we had out here a couple months ago. And of course, we got bad rain weather coming in tomorrow. And I already had to replace drywall in my seat on some times. I was trying to avoid that. I got some of it done, but unfortunately, this wind picked up. I hate the wind. The wind's like one of my least favorite things. But it took my uh, corrugated steel right off my, right out of my hands, right off the roof. Blew about 100 miles out of the yard. I was very disappointed earlier. <laughs> so my wife came in and gave me some callbacks to do, and it's kind of perfect timing because I was. Best way to get around here so I'm gonna apologize all the wind noise and the bounciness for a moment here shape and I'll actually kind of give you an idea on how if you ever store these how you want to do this. This one is okay so here's the top and here's the wood where you kind of lift that there and this one's got the cover on it but that one will down there too and again kind of smudgy but Nice clean sides on it. Those are good. This one doesn't have any of that other stuff. They got the black hinges on this guy. Um, we walk around this guy. That one, and then all the way back. That one's in excellent shape. This side uh, doesn't have anything there. Yeah, there's not much there anyway, so I don't know what they were doing over there. If that was something they. Doing something on the actual tub and got a little bit up there. Jeep. Okay, um, that's it. <coughs> 303 666 9020 parts There's our yard. I'm sure tomorrow is going to be a little bit Hopefully, less wind.